The production of cheese predates recorded history. It originated through the transportation of milk in bladders made of ruminants' stomachs due to their inherent supply of rennet. There is no conclusive evidence indicating where cheese making originated. However, it may have originated either in Europe, Central Asia, the Middle East, or the Sahara. Cheese making was known in Europe at the earliest level of Hellenic myth. According to Pliny the Elder, cheese became a sophisticated enterprise at the start of the ancient Rome era. During the ancient Rome era, valued foreign cheeses were transported to Rome to satisfy the tastes of the social elite. Topic: <laughs> Earliest origins. Shards of pottery pierced with holes found in pile dwellings are hypothesized to be cheese strainers. They are of the Urnfield culture on Lake Nucatel and date back to 6000 BCE. The earliest direct evidence of cheese making dates back to 5500 BCE in Kujawi, Poland. For preservation purposes, cheese making may have begun by the pressing and salting of curdled milk. Curdling milk in an animal's stomach made solid and better textured curds, leading to the addition of rennet. Dairying existed around 4000 BC in the grasslands of the Sahara. Hard salted cheese is likely to have accompanied dairying from the outset. It is the only form in which milk can be kept in a hot climate. Animal skins and inflated internal organs provided storage vessels for a range of foodstuffs. Cheese produced in Europe, where climates are cooler than in the Middle East, required less salt for preservation. With less salt and acidity, the cheese became a suitable environment for useful microbes and molds, giving aged cheeses their pronounced and interesting flavors. The earliest evidence of cheese is the Sumerian cuneiform texts of 3rd dynasty of Ur, dated at the early 2nd millennium BC. Remains identified as cheese were found in the funeral meal in an Egyptian tomb dating around 2900 BC. Visual evidence of Egyptian cheesemaking was found in Egyptian tomb murals in approximately 2000 BC. The earliest cheeses were sour and salty and similar in texture to rustic cottage cheese or present day feta. In Late Bronze Age Minoan Mycenaean Crete, Linear B tablets recorded the inventorying of cheese, Mycenaean Greek in Linear B, 2RO, later Greek, Tyros flocks and shepherds. An Arab legend attributes the discovery of cheese to an Arab trader who used this method of storing milk. However, cheese was already well known among the Sumerians. Preserved cheese dating from 1615 BC was found in the Taklamakan Desert in Xinjiang, China. In 2018, archaeologists from Cairo University and the University of Catania reported the discovery of the oldest known cheese from Egypt. Discovered in the Saqqara necropolis, it is around 3,200 years old. <inaudible> <inaudible> Ancient Greece and Rome Ancient Greek mythology credited Aristeus with the discovery of cheese. Homer's Odyssey late 8th century BC describes the Cyclops producing and storing sheep's and goat's milk and cheese. A letter of Epicurus to his patron requests a wheel of hard cheese so that he may make a feast whenever he wishes. Pliny recorded the Roman tradition that Zoroaster had lived on cheese. By Roman times, cheese making was a mature art and common food group. Columella's De Re Rustica circa 65 CE details a cheese-making process involving rennet coagulation, pressing of the curd, salting, and aging. Pliny's Natural History 77 CE devotes two chapters 11, 96 to, 97 to the diversity of cheeses enjoyed by Romans of the early empire. He stated that the best cheeses came from Pagi near Nimes, and were identifiable as Lozier and Javadin and had to be eaten fresh. Post-Roman Europe Most cheeses were initially recorded in the late Middle Ages. Cheddar was recorded around 1500 CE, Parmesan was founded in 1597, Gouda in 1697, and Camembert in 1791. Cheeses diversified in Europe with locales developing their own traditions and products when Romanized populations encountered unfamiliar neighbors with their own cheese-making traditions. As long-distance trade collapsed, only travelers encountered unfamiliar cheeses. Charlemagne's first encounter with an edible rind white cheese forms one of the constructed anecdotes of Notker's life of the emperor. 
Cheese making in manor and monastery intensified local characteristics imparted by local bacterial flora while the identification of monks with cheese is sustained through modern marketing labels. This also led to a diversity of cheese types. Today, Britain has 15 protected cheeses from approximately 40 types listed by the British Cheese Board. The British Cheese Board claims a total number of about 700 different products including similar cheeses produced by different companies. France has 50 protected cheeses, Italy 46, and Spain 26. France also has at least 1,800 raw milk cheese products and probably more than 2,000 when including pasteurized cheese. Furthermore, French proverb states that there is a different French cheese for every day of the year. Late French general and statesman, Charles de Gaulle, once asked, How can you govern a country in which there are 246 kinds of cheese? Meanwhile, the advancement of cheese art in Europe was slow during the centuries after Rome's fall. It became a staple of long-distance commerce, was disregarded as peasant fare, inappropriate on a noble table, and even harmful to one's health through the Middle Ages. In 1546, the proverbs of John Haywood claimed, The moon is made of a green cheese. Green is referred to being new or unaged. Variations on this sentiment were long repeated and NASA exploited this myth for an April Fool's Day spoof announcement in 2006. Topic: <laughs> Modern Until its modern spread, along with European culture, cheese was nearly unheard of in Asian cultures and in the pre-Columbian Americas. It had limited use in sub-Mediterranean Africa. Although it is rarely considered a part of local ethnic cuisines outside Europe, the Middle East, and the Americas, cheese has become popular worldwide through the spread of European imperialism and Euro-American culture. The first factory for the industrial production of cheese opened in Switzerland in 1815. However, the large-scale production found real success in the United States. Credit goes to Jesse Williams, a dairy farmer from Rome, New York. Williams began making cheese in an assembly line fashion using the milk from neighboring farms in 1851. Within decades, hundreds of dairy associations existed. Mass-produced rennet began in the 1860s. By the turn of the century, scientists were producing pure microbial cultures. Previously, bacteria in cheese was derived from the environment or from recycling an earlier batch's way. Pure cultures meant a standardized cheese could be produced. The mass production of cheese made it readily available to the poorer classes. Therefore, simple cost-effective storage solutions for cheese gained popularity. Ceramic cheese dishes, or cheese bells, became one of the most common ways to prolong the life of cheese in the home. It remained popular in most households until the introduction of the home refrigerator in 1913. Factory made cheese overtook traditional cheese making during the World War II era. Since then, factories have been the source of most cheese in America and Europe. Today, Americans buy more processed cheese than real factory made cheese. Topic: See also Food history List of ancient dishes and foods <laughs>